Yeah, that breath was supernatural. <sighs> wow, that was interesting. So, I was just watching um, a new segment on the uh, Biden's uh, new stimulus plan, and uh, I really wish, like, the mainstream media in general, uh, stop f around with. Uh, people's uh, psychology they're using psychology tricks it's just the way they, they, they use certain words that is not correct at all and and as someone with a business background I know you, you came here for Dimash I just as somebody with a business background like no n okay the government never really bail out anybody okay that's that's the government cannot bail out anyone because they don't have any resources inherently okay the government is just a bunch of people that we elected to make policies um, who really bail out the banks and uh, currently is uh, print out trillions more dollars for everybody is the people so when the banks get bailed out by trillions of dollars it's literally they take money out of your pocket you borrow it against yourself your purchase power goes down aka inflation that's going to happen in the future and uh, it's just uh, but they keep saying the government bails out so the distance so you don't feel emotionally attached even though it's more accurately the people that bails out the banks the people that bails out everybody else but um okay back to <laughs> back to something that's happier um i just want a quick word about my last reaction video regarding uh, dimash's performance uh on I think it's a uh, love is like a dream I did that video I did the reaction video for that while I was pretty tired I didn't know what I was I barely remember what I was doing I was very tired and uh, in that video reaction videos there are some really good comments regarding the narrative aspect of the, the videos of the song which I did not discuss but I felt it very very strongly too uh, while watching the video and some of these comments are very similar to what I felt well as I was watching the video now being the simpleton that I am um, There's one comment that's like especially like, you know, like good and it, it, it breaks things down very well uh, And I'll link and I have the name of the commenter here so you can go back to that video and check it out But anyway for two to a simpleton like me, right? So I don't I didn't focus on the lyrics of the song I always focus on the larger pictures, just like um, like a visual artist. Generally, like ninety percent of the visual artist, you always have to focus on a large picture first, and then you bring in the details as you bring more and more clarity into focus. That song, "Love Is Like a Dream." Okay, so it comes to me in three stages too. The first stage is about intimacy, right? And he's just his focus is purely on you, even though there's hundreds of people there and then the second stage is he he, discon he disengages from the, the audience but he's not disconnected from the audience he's still holding your attention but now he's no longer being intimate as in he's no longer being intimate with any particular individual like the very first part of the song but he's kind of grabbed the entire audience attention right and he becomes like a conduit that's the beginning of when he was doing the angelic uh, prayer uh, portion which you can call it a uh, heaven if you are religious you fin or nirvana or whatever you want to call it right which or love whatever you want to call it and when he was doing that kind of voice he's basically grab your attention and he dis but but he disengage he uh, kind of disengages from talking to you for a second there and he's like look what love or look what human potential can be you know having on earth so he's showing you that and that's the second stage and the third stage which is when he brings energies back and completely engages with the audience again but this time instead of being intimate and to just a particular individual right like the first part he's being he's engaging to the entire audience it's almost like he's now talking to humanity as a whole and his energy goes up to the highest level and he's no longer uh, showing that uh, you know that the soft side of um, you know love the but he's more focused on almost like he's screaming at you to take action because there's a lot of messed up stuff in the world right now and people always just always look at them they feel something about it but nobody takes any action so nothing really ever really changes 
oh wow that reminds me of uh, i'm just looking at the capitol hill right now i'm just like oh yeah that reminds me of something but anyway um that's what i got out of it obviously later on if you look at the lyrics carefully it's, it's more it, it talk about love and dreams and so on but even if you want to talk about that it's more like um his the song's name is love is like a dream no love is a dream so therefore it's it's, it's like saying this this uh, heavenly realm is not achievable it's not a dreaming state it it can be brought re in you know into reality all right let's uh, listen to this song um i heard this song once before but it was two months ago okay here we go <laughs> Ooh, I like that stage. Okay, um, I'm just gonna pause for here for one second. Notice right now there is uh, a full band on stage. There's pianists, there is a guitarist, and just all the supporting parts are on the stage. And Dimash is also on the stage, but uh, right now the focus, everybody's have e you know equal amount of focus. They kind of all blends into the background. You cannot see anybody really clearly. But when you start singing, oh god, that's. How does he sound so good and smooth all the time? And notice how now. The background becomes uh, white, which contrasts with his black goes with everything. It's not a, it's not really a color, but it goes with everything. Um, yeah. Oh, I like re I really like the design of the stage. Uh, there is actually uh, three different type type of light that's going on right now. Um, the blue light that's on stage right now, which gives this whole stadium this blue, uh, you know, atmosphere, it serves two purposes. Purpose one is obviously makes the, the atmosphere to be blue. Two is to really hide or de-emphasize the supporting, uh, you know, cast. <laughs> The people who are playing the piano and the guitar and so on, and put the entire focus on Dimash. As you can tell, all the the white lighting, which is full spectrum light, I'm expecting it's probably like 5500K, which is means it's a near spectrum light, a slightly yellowish color, and that is pointing directly at Dimash, which you know everybody else is hidden still and kind of like camouflaged in the background, and he just uh, stood out, which is what I always like. Say you know said that it should happen. Um, just put the tension on him, and you're good. You know. Yep, the yellow inside. You can kill that early on in the year. There's not a, like, a, he's so in it. There's not a single note he's not like focused on. I 
I know he's going to go crazy probably soon. Um, just a, another quick note is that the light that's hitting him, the light right now that's hitting him is mostly from the back, right? So you get the the rim light, which and then from the top, which you you see you can see from you know the top of his hair and, and uh, you can see the shoulders and it's basically even against the dark background with dark clothing, you'll see the outline of him very very clearly at pretty much any moment. But uh, there is no direct light that is coming from front. That's good because he's lit up in the from the front from uh, by soft light. Basically, it's all rebound light, very scattered light, diffuse lighting, which gives his facial uh, lighting a very soft look. Cause you don't, cause you know this is a at, this, at least this part is very soft sun or or his uh scene in general is a very 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 smooth and very soft and the lighting in, on his face matches same matches that it's it's very soft there's no harsh light uh, it's the heart because you know the harsh light are behind him creating that outline of his uh you know against the dark background just yeah, I don't know if you care. It's like a, it's like it's, it's the difference. Be like you, somebody lit up on a um, midday versus uh, somebody getting lit up uh, by the light on a cloudy day. It's very, it's very different light. You know, one's diffused, one is uh, you know strong, very hard light. <laughs> Look his posture, Jesus. Cinematography, I like that. Hand. Yeah, I remember this part. What the? Okay, um. That reminds me of. Uh, okay, first of all, that's obviously extremely different, and he just uh, it, it's it's almost like a folk singing, a, a very different culture. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of uh, Tibetan a throat singing. Not that it it is what it is, but it reminds me of give that that vibe that is extremely further away from what you typically hear in mainstream, and he just seamlessly integrate into the song. In terms of difficulty, I'm sure it's very difficult. I'm going to watch some vocal videos on how difficult that part is. But that that that's definitely I really like that part. Um I never hear that in mainstream music. That's this is one thing that I really like about Dimash's music is that there is certain passion and authenticity in his music that I don't hear f from mainstream music if you go to Spotify's top 10 or whatever uh, there it's almost like very formulative right the mainstream music it's all about manufacture not all about but there's a lot of manufactured superstars and formulative uh, rhythm and music and melodies and uh, it's almost like there's a sense of artificialness in it, in that people are all trained 
to condition to like those music and then people are conditioned to make those music it's it's like there's a, there's a gatekeeper like the only certain type of music goes through i i don't know but his music that especially that part is like the reverse feeling i get it's it's completely authentic it's completely refreshing interesting it's cultured uh and it's technically extremely difficult i'm sure yeah Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how. Yeah, never. Still going. Wait, wait, wait. When do you take a breath for that? How he's sustaining all that with one tiny little breath. Why are there only two people standing up? Like, okay, okay, this part, I don't... There's only like, okay, there's only like maybe, maybe three people standing up to give him a standing ovation right now. Like, look, 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 look at the, this lady that's in the middle. Like, uh, she just, she's like, I don't care what's going, like, what? Do I hear this stuff like all the time or something? Like, if this doesn't warrant a standing ovation what does I is that do they consider consider that rude to stand up and to do that I, I don't I don't understand I, yeah yeah the flower I mean yeah that breath was supernatural that he barely took a breath thing but he was able to not only I don't know how, what this all the things he did after that that was I don't know how long that that um the, he did it like a note high note then he did it like a full run then he did I don't know how he sustained that with like a, almost like a you can barely tell he took like little tiny little breath in and he's able to do that it's almost like he just generates air out of nowhere but it's, it, that's it's, you know the guy is supernatural. <laughs> Um, and another thing, like I mentioned before, is that it, his songs feels like it's very authentic and, pa and passionate, which is very... <sighs> one thing I, I don't like about, one thing I don't like about some of the mainstream song is that I noticed there is a kind of a vicious circle going on in the mainstream music. Okay. So if you go to Spotify and you listen to the top 10 of uh, mainstream music, uh, there's always a few, not all of them are bad, or, or, or this is just the observation in general, okay? I'm not saying it's good or bad, I'm just saying. Uh, and I'm not going to name any particular names, but generally, you know, they'll say, they'll, the song will be like, hey girl, I like you, 
just the way you are, or however you are, and so on. Meanwhile, everything else from the mainstream, which is TV, movies, magazines, and so on, is sending a different message, right? You have to have a certain type of body image, and uh, social media certainly doesn't that certainly doesn't help. But uh, you know, Hollywood and the that that and and you know and all the mainstream magazines. They're sending a different message, which means that you you cannot play this role, you cannot be that, you cannot do this without looking a certain way. So imagine being like a, a you know like a right now let's say a, a Gen Z like a t like a teenage girl or some, or or even you know like twenty year old, you know they'll 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 look at that they'll cry and then then they'll look at. They'll listen to the mainstream music, which is like, "Hey, I, Bessie girl, I like the way you are." They're like happy, and they obviously they're hot latch onto that because that's contrary to what they're they are being told anywhere else. They're being conditioned anywhere else, so they like that. But then they go back to that, and then they cry again. <laughs> you know, it's like, "Oh no, I I cannot." You know, it, it and. All these mainstream artists that's doing all these songs, they date. They only date pretty girls, mainstream pretty girls, right? So, it's it's a vicious circle. It it I I just noticed that it's been going on for like forever, really, and nobody noticed that. It's just I it just you know it the media makes girl feel bad about themselves. The song they use that to exp almost like in the in an exploratory kind of way to make them feel good and you know I accept you right I accept you and so the girls are really the fan of these singers but then it goes loop back around to all these mainstream medias and that's and then it just keeps going in this vicious circle I just they just keep supporting each other like the negative and the and supposedly positive and they just keep going like this I don't know if that's by design I'm sure it is I, what, what isn't but Dimash, he's just very. His messages are generally always very pure and uh, authentic, that I appreciate a lot. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Even though I talk about a bunch of stuff that's not nothing to do with Dimash, but it was relevant to. I think it's very re relevant to the world we live in today. And maybe next time I'll show you guys how to. Uh, I'll show you guys a demonstration of like a quick uh, s sketch of. Uh, like a portrait, and I'll use I'll I'll use Dimash as a model or something like that, and this is an art channel after all, so I cannot always only do like reaction videos, even though I love listen to Dimash and all that. Anyway, subscribe, ring the bell, blah blah blah. I'll talk to you guys next time. Cheers.